Hello and welcome to Marnie's Storytime. Stories and videos are created and read by Marnie and brought to you by Barnell Products. And we start our story at sunrise. Nathan was packing the sandwiches as Nicholas Alexander untied the boat. Now they were set and ready to go. Very, very early, they had gathered everything they needed for the fishing trip. Two fishing rods, hooks, lures, flies, a bucket for the fish, and the worms, of course. Can't forget the worms. The boat softly crossed the waters to the rhythm of the motor's sound. Brum, brum. All of a sudden, Nicholas stopped. This is a good place. Let's start your first fishing lesson, he said. Sir, first you tie the hook to the line and then you throw it into the lake and you sit very still and wait. Just wait. Can't I hold it yet? asked Nathan. Please. Well, fine, but sit in the centre and be still. Something bit! Something bit! cried Nathan. Hold the line tight. Take it in slowly, exclaimed Nicholas. Oh, oh, Nathan shouted. He's a very excited mouse. Oh dear, it swam away. And with my fishing rod, cried Nathan. It's quite all right, sir. We still have another rod and enough lures and hooks to make a good catch, said Nicholas. Just wait and see. Three hooks, five flies and seven lures later, Nicholas declared, they had better try something better. Yes, he said, I think the fish around here must like nice, fat, tasty garden worms. Nicholas Alexander looked for the worms. He emptied the can, he ran round the sides of the boat, but he couldn't find one. He sniffed and searched for the worms. And they looked all around until at last they found a hole in the lunch bag. A fat little worm was nibbling inside. Nicholas threw himself on top of it, but he squirmed away. Then Nathan threw himself on top of it. Oh dear, I can see something happening. Oh dear, I was right. <laughs> Splash! Grabbed it, cried Nicholas Alexander. They straightened the boat and they recovered everything but the fishing rod. I told you to sit still, exclaimed Nicholas. It's going to be quite impossible to catch a trout without a fishing rod. We might as well forget the whole thing. I've got an idea, cried Nathan. And he took the worm with his trunk and he plugged, not plugged, plunged his head into the water. Oh dear. It's an interesting style of fishing. A few minutes later, he emerged, beaming rather proudly, holding a beautiful rainbow trout. It's magnificent, exclaimed Nicholas. Congratulations, my friend. Quick, put it in the bucket. I can't wait to roast and taste it.
tired but happy. They steered towards land and they docked the boat. They built a nice warm fire and they prepared everything for a late, well-deserved tea. The trout was still bouncing and struggling inside the bucket. This one is going to be quite delicious, moist and tender, sprinkled with a little bit of lemon. Nicholas said, licking his whiskers. Nathan peeked inside and he watched the trout for a while. It's such a pretty fish, he said, and his face started to sadden. Do we really have to eat it? He asked. Second thoughts. Nicholas looked at Nathan and then he looked at the trout in the bucket. He tilted the bucket toward the lake and as the trout swam away he said, No sir, I think we can be quite content with a peanut butter and cucumber sandwich. Mm, peanut butter and cucumber. Don't think I've tried that. Mm -hmm. So, they sat on the bank by the fire, obviously, but they didn't have fish for dinner. <laughs> Peanut butter and cucumber. Mm, maybe that's something you could try. <laughs> One of those amazing sandwiches that not everybody is going to like. <laughs> well done, Hegwood. I think that was quite a neat story for today. So I'll see you next time on Money's Story Time. Well, that's the end of today's video story. We hope you enjoyed it. And to see more of Marnie's stories, press subscribe and the notification button to be notified of new postings as new stories are put up.